everybody, Dylan here. Welcome back to Pyre. We have just arrived in Black Basin, and we're going to look around and figure out how to get to where the rite will be held. You find that Hedwin has asked for several volunteers to scout the area and report back. All right, everyone, don't go too far, and let's meet back by dusk. Please, use caution. The exiles dwelling in these lands are, well, rather territorial. For your part, you remain with the black wagon to keep watch. You see occasional dark shapes soaring across the sky, but none of them draw near enough for you to see in any detail. Eventually, your companions make their way back and everyone arrives as planned, or earlier. Hi everyone, I'm back, I have come back. Faye returns from the east with little to report, save for word that the glowing molten rock there is very, very hot. This night yet lives, although he has little else to report. The newest member of the group, Sir Gilman, returns from a northern pass visibly shaken. He appears to have discovered an intense fear of heights. <coughs> Cry Ock! Tizo ponders whether any species of fish lives in the pools or rocks nearby. The little M. Tizo seems disappointed to have left the water behind. He remains with you near to the wagon. <coughs> there is a western pass that seems traversable. If we travel by the light of dawn, the shadows and the crags may well cover our advance against whomever may be watching. Begging your pardon. I do not wish to contradict your strategy, madam, though in my experience we shall not remain hidden for long during the climb towards the nest of Triesta. The exiled harp matriarch lived in solitude among these cliffs. The exiles of the high wing remnants. You may have no love for them inherently, but they have no such qualms with me for now. I may be able to negotiate safe passage. Last surviving faction of the winged harps, the ancient enemies of the commonwealth. <laughs> Negotiate with them? Then Hedwin steps in as the lone minstrel bows and backs away. Hey, let's not decide on this, this just yet. We're not going anywhere right now, that much we can agree on. We'll decide how best to go ahead come morning. For now, let's take the rest of the afternoon and get our bearings. Jodariel glares at the sky as everyone else disperses. You have the rest of the day to practice your vocations. Well, you know always what we're going to do. We're going to read the book. Always read the book. You locate a secluded area nearby where you should be able to study the Book of Rites. Through greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Uh, more quickness, please. The eight scribes who compose the book, their influence and their experience spreads through the pages into the willing reader's deepest consciousness. Inspiration comes to you in a flash. Whether from the book or from within, you cannot tell. You gain the reader's influence celerity. Two quickness. Quite good. Got nothing new in here, right? Andra, you got anything for me? No scribe trials. Uh, nothing in the book. Nothing in anybody's stuff, it looks like. Yep. Uh, Gilman's Crest. Okay, then. Well, let's look at Gilman's stats real quick, actually. Hmm. 27 quickness, only 15 glory, and low presence. So he's very, 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 very fast. 27 quickness is insane. So he's kind of going to be our new striker, I suspect. What are his abilities? Oh, we can't see him until he gets some more stuff. Oh, well. So yeah, he'll probably be our new striker, I think. Let's continue the journey. Uh, we can go to High Wing Cove or Black Shore. Jadariel wishes to avoid the harps by staying on low ground. The Lone Mitchell believes he can negotiate safe passage with the harps via this path. I trust Jadariel. No offense, Lone Minstrel. I mean, I'm sure it'll work out no matter what. The shattered lands of Black Shore prove difficult to traverse for the Black Wagon. Jadariel searches for a solid path forward to little avail. Fee on these blasted lands. How are we to proceed through this? Perhaps I may be of some assistance. This place is not so unfamiliar to me, nor are its hidden denizens. Please remain with the others until I return, madam. I shall not be long. The minstrel disappears into the cliffs before Jadariel could protest. In the meantime, you and she continue to keep watch, sensing unseen eyes. The last time that one disappeared on us, we searched for him for days. But this time, he soon returns. I've secured safe passage through the nest of Triesta. We may proceed. Secured safe passage with whom exactly? 
Just then, a winged woman dives down from the sky. She looks Jadariel up and down, and then... She soars away without a word. The lone minstrel says nothing more either. Jodariel's scowl deepens. For centuries, the Commonwealth withstood the High Wing Remnant's treacherous assaults thanks to soldiers such as she. Minus four hope, fuck. That's rough. Gotta make sure she doesn't get banished then. As you, at last you arrive in the nest of Trieste, where the next ride is soon to commence. You cannot shake the feeling that Unseen Eyes watched your, dra your wagon's ascent and remain watching now. Well, I guess we're fighting harpies most likely, yeah? Oh, hey, you guys, what brings you way out here? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. I don't want to know. All I want is you to get the best deals on the downside. Ooh, new stuff. More stardust. And a moon crest I don't really care about. Sunken shadow, righteous flame. Uh, gives us lifesteal. Or increase aura casting, plus two presents. Yeah, none of this is really that good. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with what we currently have. See you guys again sometime soon, maybe, okay? Because I gotta say, you are my favorite customers I had all week. Well said. Well said, Falcon Ron. Ooh, new page. The Hunt for Myrrh and the words of Gol Golothanian, the Master General. My emperor lay there, bleeding and alone, stranded in a bitter land beyond the river. With con fleeting consciousness, he understood the folly of his quest and the folly of his rule over his country. Thus did he await the last embrace. It was the imp Haub that nursed him back to health and warned him often of the dangers he would have to face. Many enemies of Mur would come in search for him, some under employment by the rope collar, some longing openly for cold, uncomplicated vengeance. I was one of them. I plunged into the river willingly. We needed to be sure that he was dead. Jeez. That poor guy seems like a real douche. Alright, let's get people equipped, huh? Uh, first of all, we need to level something up. Probably want to level up this one, because it's just amazing. She's to banish people 17 times. I mean, 17 banishments. God, hope five. That's insane. Ardent. Righteous. Ardent. Determined. Determined. Hmm. His glory is faint. Or is this shining? This is also faint. The headwind's probably our best for just shooting people. So our team's probably going to be headwind, and then I, th I guess we skip Jadariel this time. Or maybe we keep Jadariel as our backliner. We always take her, though. So why don't we take Edwin and Faye this time? Is Faye's like a secondary striker? So we'll take... Hmm. But Rookie's Fang is special talisman. Um, I mean, this is fine on him, actually. So we'll take Hedwin Faye um, Gilman for this one. All right, let's do it. Commence the right, baby. You and your fellow exiles gather on the blasted lands called the Nest of Trieste, expecting the imminent commencement of the rites. You see no sign of any adversaries, but then you hear a whooshing sound above. This, then, is what passes for the night wings now. <laughs> oh, such a rabble, not even dressed for the occasion yet. It seems the scribes have little pride in their tradition. Hold your tongue, little bird. We've not come for talk. No, you have come on behalf of your commonwealth. Mark well my words, you horned filth. When at last we free ourselves, your home shall burn. With that, the harp swoops off as Jodario glowers after her. It's only then that you realize another harp has come. 
She is quite serious, I assure you. I can help you sort her out. It's in our mutual interest. You know not of my interest. Mm, let's give this another shot. Hi, my name's Pamitha Thayen. The surly one back there, that was my blood sister. No need to judge her harshly, though. We've only met just now, though I must say something about you reminds me of her. How dare you implicate that I have anything in common with your ilk. Just then, Hedwin shows up to intervene. He whispers something to, to Jardariel. No, Hedwin, you cannot be serious. Jody, I'm asking you to trust me on this one. Am I perhaps interrupting something? Say, by the by, however did you make it all this way across the sea? I didn't see you fly in. Trust is something I am loath to give away, Hedwin. But you have set our course thus far, and I have followed. So do as you must. That sandalwood better have an explanation for all this. Jodariel storms off as Hedwin turns to you. What's your take on this one, my friend? Our informant wants someone for each mask. I hadn't expected we'd run into a harp, yet here she is. What are you getting from her? You turn your attention to Pamitha, who's been watching with bemused interest. Uh, a reader, are you? Pleased to make your acquaintance, darling. Well, here I am. Gaze intently all you like and tell your comrade there the truth of it, why don't you? You sense that she's conflicted about something, though you do not know what. You also sense, however, that her motives here and now are earnest. Hmm. You tell Hedwin that you have several misgivings about Pamitha and suggest caution before accepting her into your ranks. I share much of your concern about her, my friend. It's just, I have to give Sandalwood the benefit of the doubt as well as Pamitha. We've come this far thanks to a certain faith, and right now it's telling me to take her with us. I hope you'll back me up on this, as I'm sure Jadariel won't like it. He turns to Pamitha. I'm Hedwin. We'll accept your author offer on two conditions if you'll heal me out. Oh, conditions? Oh, why, sure, I love a good condition or two. First, after we're finished here tonight, you come along and make sure that your blood sister and her friends don't give us any trouble when we're headed out. Second, you'll have to find a way to get along with Jadariel, whom you met earlier. Oh, brilliant. I had no plans to stick around here anyway. As for your demon friend, no doubt we'll get on famously. Now, I don't suppose you have an extra set of raiments I could use, because I think the right is getting started. You look up and realize that she is right. Let's bid her welcome next time on Pixel Pals.